everybody, my name is Cole. Welcome back to Rocket Boy Reviews, and I am in a very loud car that happens to be yellow, and I just got stung. In. So what I have here is a 2018 Ford Mustang GT with Performance Pack One, and this car is purely amazing and beautiful, naturally aspirated sound. All right, so before I go into it, let's do a little back history on the Ford Mustang. So the first Mustang was made in 1965, all the way back in 1965. And that car was basically made to uh, compete with Chevrolet in the sports car realm. Um, the first or the base model came in a V6 and the GT, obviously, like this car, came in a V8. And as I just said, that is still the same as today. The base comes in a V6, now an EcoBoost uh, two, uh, four cylinder or the V6. And the uh, Shelby's and the GT comes in a five liter and a 5.2 liter V8. And the Mustang, as a lot of people know, is the best selling sports car in the world or at least for the US market. All right, so performance of this yellow beast. This car has a, as the badge says on the side, a 5.0 or 5 liter naturally aspirated V8, also known as the Coyote 5.0. Stock, this car makes 460 horsepower, but the owner of this car has full bolt-on, tune, and a full exhaust system, or long tube headers and sports catalytic converters. And this car now makes 620 naturally aspirated horsepower. This car is nuts. So transmission of this 5.0 GT Mustang, this car has a six speed manual. And this car is amazing at a six speed manual. It also comes in an eight speed automatic, but this car has the six speed manual. And don't pay more for the eight speed automatic because the six speed manual in this car is absolutely amazing. All right, so comfort of this uh, Mustang GT. Actually, not too bad. These seats are actually pretty comfortable. Uh, lots of, uh, lots of like back, um, I don't even know, but they're really comfortable seats. Um, really nice driving position in this car. You can see over that long hood with ease. Everything is really nicely laid out. Comfort of this car is very nice. Not too bad at all. Very comfortable American car. All right, onto the walk around of this very nice yellow Mustang GT with that Roush Aero Kit. So that gives you the front and the back diffuser, which I'll show you guys in a second here. Also, these beautiful hood vents. These are also part of the Roush uh, Aero Pack. Very nice car. I love this yellow. American racing rims. Very nice. Brembo brakes, of course, because of the performance pack. 5.0 badge on the side. Mustangs have always been very nice looking cars and one of the reasons why they are so sought after in the muscle car realm. There's a beautiful diffuser there. Also this very nice wing GT obviously right there. Very nice car. I love how this like, you can do anything in these cars. These cars have been around for so long and just absolutely beautiful. Still an amazing looking car though, especially for the money. Stepping into the interior of this Mustang GT, you're met with very nice black leather, also back seats, which you can't complain about. Not a ton of space, but you know, it's still back seats for your young child or whatever. Very nice black leather seats. Stepping in, you're met with very nice informative steering wheel, tons of buttons, navigation system, all the good stuff, and a very nice digital display, which I'll guys, I'll show you guys a startup in a little bit here. Very nice six speed manual, can't go wrong. Very nice interior car, don't mind it at all. Alrighty, onto fuel mileage. This car gets 15 miles per gallon in the city, 25 miles per gallon on the highway for a combined total of 18 miles per gallon. It's also equal to 13 liters per 100 kilometers. But since this car has full bolt-on and tune and makes over 100 horsepower more than stock, I highly doubt that the owner gets that. 
special liability of this car being a Ford product, not too bad at all, especially a Ford V8, 4.5 stars out of 5, which completely makes sense. Not bad at all. All right, on to practicality of this Ford Mustang. Not too bad at all at 13.5 cubic feet of trunk space. That is better than the GTS, the M3, the C63, and I think that's it. Maybe even better than the S7, I'm not sure, but this trunk is massive. Great for practicality. You can put anything back here. I'll give you guys a little startup sequence of this amazing 620 horsepower V8 Mustang. Oh, what a rumble this thing makes. Really cool. Also, put it in track mode, which I will now. And your whole dash changes. Super cool. Time for a pull in this nearly straight bike Mustang GT. Holy Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. That's without the windows down. That is unbelievable. I'll do one with the windows down. All right, so pull with the windows down. Holy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that's, that's unbelievable. I don't, think she, <laughs> I don't think she likes that sound too much. It's too loud. <laughs> Sorry, Kaya, my amazing camera person. I'm kind of loud. <laughs> Alright, so what I like about this car, I like the driving position, I love how you can see over the hood with ease, I love the digital display that you guys uh, saw in the startup, I love, it, it's a nice car, um, it's, everything is really easy, I mean for products, uh, everything is really easy to understand and they have been for quite some time. Uh, the steering wheel is awesome and it doesn't have to deal with those paddle shifters on the steering wheel because it is a six-speed manual transmission. The driving is very nice. Uh, the track mode's great. When the track mode, it's in track mode, it's really stiff and I like that a lot, especially obviously if you're racing at the track. Um, overall, really amazing car and pretty comfortable for what it is. Being a V8 muscle car, not bad. Another thing that I really like about this car is the different display. So if I put this car in, let's put it in normal mode, I only get two separate displays, RPM and uh, speedometer. But if I put it, say, in Sport Plus, it changes again. And if I put it in track, it all changes yet again to this really cool um, kind of display. And if I put it in drag strip mode, then the RPMs get even bigger for drag racing, obviously. That is a super cool feature. All right, so on to what I don't like about this car. Uh, this transmission, as it, it's amazing, and I love that uh, four performance short throw shifter. Um, it does make a lot of noise. I don't know if that's because it's a performance clutch or anything, but like it kind of like, it makes a weird, it's a weird feel. Again, that could be for performance clutch and a regular Mustang G GT that is not tuned and modified. It could be completely different, but I'm not sure. Um, another thing, um, the plastics kind of squeak a little bit. They're not so, so bad, but uh, it's just another thing. I mean, I mean, it's, it's Ford, Ford is, okay for interior quality um so but overall it's not that bad it's just a tiny little bit um i don't notice any big things like i had I, I had to really hear to hear the little squeaks of plastics um not too bad at all though Alrighty, so that's gonna do it for today's video thank you so much to paul the owner i'll be dropping his instagram down below thank you so much for letting me drive your insane mustang uh this thing is absolutely it's, it's a lot of fun uh, it makes a hell of a noise at the back there. Um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, I really appreciate you with the trust. Uh, I really appreciate the trust of letting me drive your amazing car. So in conclusion, uh, I really like this car. It is amazing. Uh, I kind of really want one now. <laughs> this is my first time actually driving a uh, new generation Mustang GT. Um, yeah, it's, it's an amazing muscle car. Um, is it the best one? Not sure yet. I'll let you guys know after I review a couple of muscle cars, like a Challenger and uh, things like that. But uh, yeah, this is purely an amazing car. I completely understand why these are the most, uh, well, they're the most common, not the most common, but they're the most sold uh, sports car in the United States. I completely understand why. 
Um, and this car has a massive history, especially with the Ford brand. Uh, Ford is very happy about this car. But uh, anyways, um, this is an amazing car. Anyways, I'm gonna start ta stop talking now. Um, thank you everybody so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you watching these videos. Um, we're almost at 100 subscribers actually. So super, super excited to hit that one milestone. Um, yeah, so please do all the YouTube stuff. And as usual, have an amazing day. <laughs> I hit my I hit my 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 elbow on the transmission. All right, so that's gonna do. It. Stop laughing. <laughs>